Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and I'm over at the incomplete storage system that still isn't working yet. Uh, what I need to do is I need to empty my pockets, and I'll show you why they're all full of junk. Um, just like in Season 1's uh, storage system, I do have this lever here, so that way I can toss stuff in it that uh, I don't want to go running through running through the system later so uh we'll, we'll just kind of drop all those here oh i forgot to drop off uh those with rest um i'll do that next is that that i uh, i've been playing with some tunnel bores so that's not done uh not gonna work on it today but if i don't do anything in between now and uh friday I'll be back in here working on this area finally. This room's going to be another uh, another farm type room like that. Uh, once I'm done construction, I'll get a couple more of the villager types to to roam around here. Although I may I may actually get a fisherman in here too. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to get a small melon pumpkin farm going up that way up towards the top back. Uh, a small kelp farm and a bigger cacti farm than what I got down in the basement and get that in here in a proper place and going to proper storage with proper overflow. Since everything in here is compostable, it is going to get tossed into a composter. And, uh, and I should notice before that starts overflowing, uh, <clears throat> hopefully I needed some, <laughs> I needed some blocks to build with and I couldn't, I. Yeah, that's what I had handy. It works. No one's going to see that anyway. And in this little side, I want to get a couple of uh, bone wheel powered farms for the glow lichen and the glow berries. And over on this side, I want to get some farms together for the red and brown mushrooms. Just a couple of small farms. Because uh, I want to make sure that I always have materials on hand for the potion brewing. And if I'm going to do another round of invisibility potions, I need I need more uh, I need more uh, fermented spider eyes, which takes brown mushrooms and sugar. So I've at least got the uh, the the slow growth sugar over here. That oh, that takes forever. Um, and all these farms over here, if they're not the kind that automatically run, they do have a shutoff when that gets uh, full. Um, I'm probably not going to do a vine farm. I, I was tempted to do a vine farm. I may throw a vine farm in there, but I forgot that you can use moss blocks to make mossy cobble, mossy stone, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I might just go with the moss farm because that is far more useful and far easier to farm than vines. Uh, you know, I might keep a section somewhere of harvestable vines just so that way they're they're there if for whatever reason I need it. And I still need to find a place to put some uh, put a little sea pickle farm. Maybe maybe I'll work that into a little water feature up along the wall here. Uh, <coughs> maybe we'll see. All right. Uh, that's it for this, uh, for what's over here in the mountain. All right, I did empty my shulker boxes and most of my inventory. Torches I'm going to keep on me for a second. Let me, uh, take a nap on the couch here. And we'll get on to a couple other things. Like, where I got these beautiful ores. Uh, I think I mentioned in the intro I've been working, I've been playing with some tunnel bores. Uh, it's one of those things that I, I meant to get into in Season 1 and never quite got around to it. And so I'm getting into it now. Uh, <laughs> I went with a design that I saw on Ray's Works channel. Uh, obviously, I can't post a sign with the YouTube link because, well, uh, you can't put a sign on a moving machine. Um, well, not in expect to keep the sign there uh all right those those and those there you go rest you have oars oars for days oh oh almost forgot uh i did just a smidgen more work over here um 
I, I still... I love the dragon carpet. I keep thinking I might swap out blue for a different color because that blue just isn't, I don't know, something doesn't feel right with that. Uh, and I'm going to start decorating the end tables like I got the, I didn't know what to do with the Endermite uh, head. So I put it on a on a Endermite armored armor stand with a couple of shulker boxes. <laughs> they're they're the mini, the mini blocks from uh, the Wandering Idiot. I mean the Wandering Trader. Uh, putting the shrubberies definitely helped with my issues with the door. And I, I still got some supplies over here I need to do something about. Um, but that is, the, as you can see, I got that set up as a workroom. And so I've got benches and things. And I'll, I'll try to get some stuff on the tabletop eventually. Uh, and maybe hang a, few, hang a few things from the chains along the wall too. Uh, and over here, I kind of made a sort of walk-in closet. So you got the, the shelf along the top, uh, some chains to hang, some suits of clothes on, some boots. Uh, I, I thought about filling this with a few more suits, but uh, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be careful with the number of armor stands I use. So I don't know. Well, I, I might add two or three more, like throw a couple more here and a couple more there. Oh, you mean instead of using the dark oak? Because I'm using dark oak for, for like all the furniture, uh, including the clock and all that. I, I was thinking it was the blue that wasn't working with the cyan terracotta. Uh, and that was the main issue. Oh, hang on. Uh, it's, uh... Bloop. I ain't buying nothing. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, uh, I I really think it's the blue not mixing with the cyan terracotta. I thought about using and and get on voice because we're gonna be heading out there later anyway. Um, I thought about using cyan beds instead of blue, but that those two th those may both be labeled cyan, but that's. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So uh, since I got the white chair there, I might go back and grab some uh, grab some white. Yeah, I could try the gray too. Um, but that that'll be that'll be for another day. Oh yeah, and I also made a purple helmet for the guy that I was going to put the player head on, and totally forgot that that's what I was doing. Um, and I also changed up the staircase so I could put some uh, under under stair storage. I I might rearrange that and do something a little bit different with that. But that's. Uh, that's another project for another day. I keep playing with these walls. Uh, I keep wanting to put some of these mini blocks up as uh, fence posts. And uh, some, some, you know, some deals like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, that's... Oh! I didn't want to burn that many rockets, but okay. Last thing to show, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll get to the main, the main event. Are you ready to nether? Yeah. All right. Uh, nope. This way. This way. Down, down to Goblin Town. I got those ores and a bunch more deep slate. Uh-oh. I hear some unlit areas over there. <laughs> I should probably go harvest some of those crystals, too. I should probably watch where I'm walking as well. Uh, incidentally, that... <laughs> That piece of granite there is because at least four times while building that, I fell down the stupid beacon hole to that glass and once died trying to fly myself back out of there. Floor hazards, people. At least, like, put a put a glass pane there or something that, you know, so safety. Safety third. <laughs> or at least safety second. So yeah, I, I, I put this uh, tunnel bore design to the test. Like I said, I got it off of Raiseworks. I'll make sure I put a, a link in the cha in the uh, description when I upload the archive later. I might swap out this for the version that Borkon has, which is the version that Ray, you know, Ray said I got it from Borkon. Borkon said I got com various components from El Mango. And this becomes one of those things where it's really hard to pin down any one part of the design to a single person because like this style TNT duper came from 
uh, Il Mango putting something together, and then this part came from somebody else, and this part came from somebody else, and then somebody else went, oh, hey, those three parts, you string them together, and yeah. So it's one of those type deals, but... Um, you know, you, you are using up three ancient debris to protect the machine from blowing up and to keep the TNT where you want it. Um, but it's really nice. You just uh, hit the note block. And collect your stuff. And, and since Reyest is on the hunt for more ores, you know, you do a quick check and make sure that there are no ores to be had. You know, or whatever. Alright, I just wanted to get those out of my inventory. I hear a skeleton around here. And I I went and swapped out a couple of the solid blocks with shroom lights. That way you've got a little more light where you're working. So even this isn't the same design as what Ray did. Uh, it's definitely one of those iterative, like, everybody's building off of everybody else. And I would have never come up with this in a million years, but I can at least... I, I understand it enough to modify, like, oh yeah, I could put a shroom light there, and I can put a shroom light there. And it definitely keeps the light level a little bit higher where you're at, uh, which definitely helps. And I use all the blocks I didn't really need a whole bunch of to keep a pathway going for torches. Because as you can see, it it doesn't the floor doesn't survive in an even fashion. You know, sometimes you get big holes like this. Sometimes you get little holes like that. Uh, just I don't know. One of those weird things. One of those weirder parts of this. I almost want to try to fly out of there so I can get to uh, storage to get a. Uh, No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> that was almost bad. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let, let's get a couple of uh, fire resistance potions and then we'll meet up with Arcadius and then another. Because that is, that is the main... We're, we're, we're going to take that same design, that same bit of, that same bit of gear. Uh... Mix the random deep slate with the cobble deep slate. Um. That'll go there for now. I got two empty shulker boxes, some space in there, and are you fight region, health, strength, slow fall, invisibility. Eh, but those are the short ones. I, I thought we had a... Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. We get a bunch of fire resist. I'll bring, uh, I'll bring, I'll bring three for Arcadius too. That way, uh, that, that should be, that should be plenty. If that's not plenty, we, we got bigger problems going on. All right. Um, I got torches, my golden boots of piglin diplomacy. <laughs> uh, that infinity bow is looking a little sad, but, uh, oh, we'll, we'll get to that. I got some more rockets in my ender chest. I got at least one more stack, although I shouldn't need them once we're there. All right, to the nether. Eventually. I need to come back and show this area a little more love to kind of get a little more, little more design going. Oh yeah, that's right. I put Frostwalker on my nether boots because that lets you walk over the magma cubes without taking da damage. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. Uh, I've actually got a tunnel started, and it's down by the portal at the end of this over here because I wanted to to do all this destructive stuff away from where people were uh, working on the regular. Mm, yep. It's a long walk. <laughs> I keep wondering if I raise this roof maybe another two blocks, would I be able to uh, would, it, would I be able to fly down the tunnel? 
Uh, just one, but you'd have to uh, close off some gaps in the roof. Yeah. On the other hand, th this is a nice and safe... Uh... <laughs> Especially since I hear some unhappy people over there. I'd also probably swap out these fires for torches if uh, <laughs> if I decided to go flying. Because it would be my luck that uh, I'd take a corner just a little too sharp. A non-junior experience kinetic energy. And uh, <laughs> there goes half my inventory in the fire. Oh, I forgot to stop by the pork chop farm. All right, that's fine. I should have enough. Oh no, no, I got more in my ender chest. Oh, did you see? I put a, uh, I put an ender chest over here. Are you Hansel or Gretel? <laughs> <laughs> I think we can find our way back. <laughs> yeah, I love that little bit of soul speed. Every time I get that bit of soul speed boost, I really think about ripping up these half slabs. Nope, not through there. Um, by the by, we, we got us a respawn anchor. Uh, <laughs> that, that that might be kind of useful. Oh, and uh, that, that, and that. I got one. Oh well. Yeah, well, you know. You, you go ahead and tell me you can have too many. You can. Bog down your inventory. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> gra grab Blackstone and be prepared to throw up slabs and buttons because, uh, yep. That's the problem I've been running into. Hey. Free tears. Where are they? I got the first one. You, you, you're not going to button up anything behind me, are you? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Just just don't let them blow up the machine. I got very lucky while I got this far. <laughs> That's like, because that would be a lot of buttons back here. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, we got all this blackstone just sitting there. Uh, oh, I forgot to bring I forgot to bring some uh, nether rack or something with me because I forgot that that lava flow was there. Uh, I've also had the occasional skeleton pop up, so you know. Hmm. So uh, keep keep an eye out for that. Oh, hey! Uncalled for lava. Get out of here. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of a lot of that too. I think there's a uh, lava lava stream, lava lake, or something like that, just on the other side where I'm working over here. It's actually the first time I've run into that big a lava source down this top. Oh, bloody bloody oath! Mm -hmm. I went to grab some random netherrack, and I find an ancient debris. I've been mining through here, and I got all of, like, three ancient debris a as a part of the mining project. But, no, I just go find some random netherrack to... I mean, that's why you strip mine sometimes. Because uh, that stuff can hide one block out of sight. <laughs> I know, I know. It, it's just it's the principle of the matter. Oh, okay. That is that is going. I, I've also been stopping to collect a lot of the nether quartz and any uh, gold ore that that I come across too, because uh, I I need to replenish the comparators and uh, observers in my redstone box. Yep. Like we don't have a ton of it in uh, storage. Uh. I don't know. I haven't seen too much of it here lately. I, I know Medic's been going through a, a fair bit. I've been going through a fair bit. I mean, there's also the fact that, you know, there's the 
piglin up there that's more than willing to give you the tons of gold that we have. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I I just for. yeah. I haven't gotten that far. I I I need to I need to finally go break down my materials shopping list and uh, prepare to find seven of his friends and uh, make a make a trading hall happen. I'll just breed them up. You can't. I know. I just felt like saying it. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just Googled uh, how to breed pigs right now. <laughs> yeah. Pause the video. They'll be back in about five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to find something with a higher blast resistance to, to bottle this side up. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be happy when I'm on the other side of this one. You're you're not here to help. You're here to intentionally trigger more gas, aren't you? No. Oh, this time I was just getting stuff to plug this with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I think there's something on the other side of the... There's a lake or river or something on the other side of that wall. Possibly, when we're at that level. There's another opening just below that. Oh. Right where you're at. Okay. I, th I thought I'd finally, uh... Oop! Oh. Ah! Th no! I got him. <sighs> I told you I got him. Yeah, but that didn't stop him from opening up the uh, the spot that we just sealed. <laughs> <laughs> On top of me, like, 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 yes, you got him. I am still drowning in lava, thank you very much. <laughs> Are you not wearing, like, full fire protection gear in here? Uh, I, th I think it's in my armory box. I forgot to... Oh, hey, I, <laughs> I, I forgot to put that on. <laughs> That 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 might be my next. Uh... I don't get a light you're on right now. I'm wearing my fireman's helmet, <laughs> my anti magma oh. chest piece, pants, and boots. Anti magma. Dude, you should see this set. You don't want to know how many like levels are sunk into this set. Oh, I'm I'm pretty sure I got a good idea. <laughs> for for a set that I'm pretty sure I'll lose. There are a lot of levels in this set. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, were you looking to see if it was an actual like lake or river or something? No, that's where I was grabbing. Oh, the okay. Stuff for me to help close stuff, and I ran into some. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, no, I thought you were clear. No, oh, no, I just. <laughs> I heard the hiss and I wasn't ready to hear hisses. And oh. You know, I started having like bad dreams of you and your constant uh, crazy talk about adding in a thing that puts in a nether creeper and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, a data pack that has <laughs> nether creepers? Yeah. Yeah, nah, nah. Alright, we're, we're almost to the other side of this, so you know what? We'll, we'll just, uh,. Let's keep going and uh, patch patch that out once or patch that up once we get past it. You ready? Yeah. This is kind of fun. It's a little bit slower than just taking a you know efficiency oh. pick and making our way through, but uh, all right, just looking for quartz and things. Couldn't you necessarily just like hit the button several times? No, uh, not until after that TNT blows up. Otherwise, you risk that TNT getting pushed back towards the machine and blowing up part of the machine. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be bad. Look, could you string this along and make it like wider? Like oh yeah, yeah, like uh, 
Ray and Bork, uh, Borkon, who did the two videos that I referenced on this, have versions of this that are like two by two and four of them where they're all still tied to a single note block. And apparently once you get more than four wide, it gets really difficult to coordinate them. So that way the TNT blows up at the same time and you don't end up uh, accidentally uh, breaking stuff you desperately did not want to break. <laughs> I was getting there. Okay. And we'll patch up that one once we get a little bit further past. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure with a full set of uh, fire protection gear, like chest and everything, you can actually swim in lava for like a solid minute. <laughs> I don't know about a solid... Oh, this, this tunnel might be tapped out. Eh, let's see what's on the other side of that. Yeah, we should be able to patch up that one now. We're, we're at least far enough past that side that we're not blowing up stuff over there. Okay, well you patch that. I'm going to check to make sure this isn't a dead end. Uh-oh. I think... I think that... Oh, okay. Yeah, I was getting ready to say I think that's a... Uh, Yeah, it's not promising. Oh. Yeah. No damage. <laughs> Look, Ma, no damage. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love uh, fire protection across all pieces of gear. So yeah. We could just turn this thing and head in, uh, west <laughs> or east. Well, I would say east, um, first. West seems to be. Well, what, what we definitely want to do is, um, we, <laughs> I forget which video it was, but, uh, uh, 3G, right? Oh. There we go. Uh, apparently somebody figured out that the terrain, the way the, uh, generation works netherite is more likely to occur on chunk borders than it is through the middle of the chunk so that's why i got this machine where where i do because it's right on that chunk border so if we were to turn it we would want to come back to like here where there's another chunk border and go along the chunk border okay Well, it's up to you. I mean, we can keep pushing forward if you want to try. I don't know how deep that. Yeah, that's that's my only my only question. I'd hate you know. On, on the other hand, it's not like there. This isn't a big old nether. You know, there there there's plenty of there's plenty of places to get what we need. Like, oh no, we can't mine here. We'll have to mine somewhere else. For shame. Nope. That the last of it? No, that's not the last of it. I don't know why I'm worrying about losing another rack. Like, oh, oh no, we'll run out another rack. I mean, I mean, last time I was throwing this stuff in the lava because I needed the inventory space. <laughs> I was throwing it in there by the stack. Like, uh,
All right, let's um. Get rid of the grid. Let, let's let's give this a try and see how far this goes. Okay. Oh, I really did not want the ominous noises. Right. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh never mind. Do, do you do you see that pile of nope back there? <laughs> that looks like a lake of nope. <laughs> Uh, yep, yep. This this is definitely uh dead end. The party went this far and no further. I just want to block off some of the lava before I go uh, tearing the machine down, so I don't you know lose any pieces of it in the lava, because that would be my luck. Oh, yeah. Be very careful taking this apart. <laughs> oh, I ain't touching nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you. Very dangerous. You go first. <laughs> like, like, is that what I heard? Because I feel like that's what I heard. Uh, that's not what you heard. You heard I'm House Thrash. I wasn't paid to take down a machine. I was paid for guard duty. <laughs> oh, did I just... Yeah, I forgot to my... Oh, that's my own fault. That's my own fault. Um, what? I, I forgot to mine the coral first. Oh, do we need to go get another piece of coral? Uh, I don't think I have a coral box. In. No, I... Got rid of the coral box so I could make space. <laughs> oh, that's a long walk. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'll go. Does it matter what kind of coral? Just as long as it's a coral fan. Although, hey, um, go go through the um, go through the portal on this side. That should take you by the swamp because I thought there was an ocean somewhere near the near the swamp we were doing all our all our stuff at. Three ancient debris, three observers, three uh -huh. shroom lights, three pistons, two sticky pistons. Oh, I'm missing a slab. Or did I miscount? Right, no, there's a slime block. I think my uh, I think my ingredients list is off. Cause I don't I don't see any more pieces. And I know you didn't pick anything up. Nope. Alright, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, that might be right. I think my uh, materials list is wrong. 
because I know I know I had a couple other a couple other spots where it looked wrong, and I forgot to finish updating it. All right, Skelly, I saw you around here somewhere. There's no warm ocean out here. No, I thought there was. You're thinking of the warm ocean. Oh! Ha ha! Didn't expect that. You're thinking of the warm ocean over by the Mesa biome. No. Oh. I did not expect to get that. Why is there a giant tunnel running down here? Never mind. Why am I asking questions I don't really want the answer to? Let's go this way. I, I guess I will get a chance to go through the uh, construction process on camera. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but uh, okay, okie dokie. call that enough space. I can always make more if needed. Alright, so first thing we do is we figure out where the front of this is going to be and we start putting down our three ancient debris. Make sure you leave one block space in front of it. <laughs> Very important, unless you like blowing up your hard work. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get rid of the grid. Let's get rid of the hitboxes. Alright, and then... You're going to place one solid block. In this case, we're putting a shroom light to give us a little more light in the area. And then you're going to have an observer looking at that solid block. That has to be a solid block. Um, but again, it can be a shroom light. Um, I don't think it can be a jack-o'-lantern. I, I can't remember now. if jack No, jack-o'-lanterns can be moved. They just don't get stuck to. But I mean, yeah, uh, other the, you can use any solid non-lighting block. Just, it has to be a solid block. Alright, and then we get a sticky piston on back of the observer. And then we're going to get a normal piston. Facing into the front of that sticky piston, so the normal piston and the sticky piston are right against each other. What's going to happen is, is when this one gets powered, uh, it pushes everything else forward. This observer moving is going to trigger the sticky piston to pull this back along with it. And then we're going to get a gap. An observer facing away. 
We're going to get a wall. A top slab. And a solid block. In our case, we're going to put a shroom light again for more lighting as we go. Uh, and I gotta stop until we get a dead coral fan. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I got I, I'm working on stuff. No. Seriously, dude. Where's your tear? Well, I guess I am Denise. I showed hey. up after everything was done. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Where did his tear go? Do, or do they not always drop a tear? Did you hit him with looting? I hit him with a bow. Then no, it's zero to one without looting. Oh. With looting, it's like one to four. Well, oh, come on, Mo Yang, put a put a put. Let me put looting on my bow. <laughs> yeah, zero to one oh. or one to four. I mean, those are some crazy differences. Yeah. Off my chest plate. Here's your fans. I brought you three just in case you mess something up. Thanks. <clears throat> <laughs> Hang on, I, I got, got a box here for my uh, tunnel bore stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because I'm gonna need the the some uh, slabs for scaffolding anyway. Do me a favor. I need a little more space out that way behind this machine. I, I didn't clear out enough. All right, uh, dead coral fan is going on top of the observer, a TNT on top of the fence, and a solid block on top of the slab. That did not seem... Cinnamon roll. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, two cinnamon rolls. A slime block. So we'll get a Behind third. that, solid block. A slime block on top of the dead coral fan. A top slab over the TNT. A detector rail on top of the slime block, and then a cart on top of that. We're going to put a slime block off the back of the rail. And seven, scaffolding. I'm not going to mention how many times I've looked around mm -hmm. trying to figure out where the magma cube was. Oh, because I keep putting the... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, I need like one, maybe two blocks up. Okay. Uh, All right. I need... I need to get on the other side so I'm actually looking at the same view as my diagrams here. All right. <clears throat> One block away from the slime block. Uh, is going to go a regular piston. My last observer is going to go there. Nope. He goes the other way. I always get it backwards. There we go. And... 
a solid block in front of that guy. Alright. A sticky piston. Alright. Yeah, sticky piston facing black backwards. A slime block. A normal piston, then we get rid of our scaffolding. Who's putting a random netherrack in my ton of war box? Here, there, there, there's a box to, to throw stuff in. <laughs> Wasn't just netherrack. netherrack. Yeah, I saw the quartz too. Now, remove the scaffolding. Uh, <laughs> careful where you go now. Uh, oh, bother. Too short. Not too short as in the number two. Too short as in T-O-O. -O. All right. Now for the delicate stuff. A redstone block is going on top of the slime block. And once I put this note block over the sticky piston, everything is armed. And there we go. We should be all set. Yeah, we needed that slime block to push that in place so it got the TNT duper ready to work without actually blowing itself up. Fire the hole! <laughs> and off we go again. Uh, although, while, while we're here by the ender chest, uh, I, I am going to... Um, Go grab my armory box. And where's my my fire suit pants? The nether boots I have on are good enough. I thought I had a fire protection helmet. Uh, I guess I'll use the fire protection chest piece for now. Oh, protection, and the rest is fire protection. That, that'll have to do. That'll do. Ancient debris? Huh? <laughs> it's not like it's I know. Well, I mean... It... Oh, come on! Oh, it's just one. We got it, this. It's the... It's the principle of the matter. There. All good. Find the hole. Go for it. I was letting the lava go away first. Like my, you can't see me, gas protection. <laughs> All right, I guess that'll work. <laughs> as long as you don't jump, they can't see you. Uh-huh. All right. Don't like the way it beeped at me three times. Yeah, well, I keep trying to figure out a way to, to rig something on top of that. Although, that's one of the reasons why I'm actually looking at um, a different design for the engine that moves it all forward. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stupid scroll wheel. Because uh, I, I would lay... The, the one that uh, Borkon used has a silent note block that triggers it, and the note block is lower to the ground. Although, it's also the one that Reyes had trouble making move forward, so, you know. 
Well, do you have a... Does the piston have enough power to push one more block? I, I'm pretty sure it does, but we would also need a another slime block to put on top of that as well, and the tunnel doesn't have clearance to go higher. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I was say you put a block over it. Or at that point, just put a slime block on it. Yeah. Uh, I, I keep... I, when when I put the thing together, I probably should have tried putting the redstone block under the sticky piston and the note blo uh, under the slime block and the note block under the sticky piston, just to see if that would work. But uh, oh well, it, it's already armed and ready, and uh, I ain't I ain't rebuilding it from scratch. I came here to get some ancient debris and you know put some netherite gear in. <laughs> Are you gonna like check for quartz and things? What you're doing up there? Unless you want me to play lookout. Oh, you. Sure. Uh, that didn't sound right. Well, while you deal with that, I'm gonna grab this quartz. Oh, oh, that's why there's light. That's why there's light. <laughs> Gold. Shiny. Clear. Clear. <laughs> Clear right. <laughs> oh, 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 I was going to say, hang on, there's gold. Okay, hang on. Oh. Man, why is this hole deeper than the last one? How, how did you get me in a deeper hole than I, than I was in before? Uh, I mean, is this going to be another one of those? Well, I mean, that's what friends are for. <laughs> I was about to say, your other friends told you not to hang out with me. I mean, <laughs> All right, go for it. Seriously? Like... Oh. Hang on after this. We're okay. gonna have to patch up another little... Another block. Or... You know what I mean. Ooh, gold. I need to build. I like gold. Oh, we know. <laughs> anyway. Blinder 2.0 is up. Okay. <laughs> Even more blind than blinder one. Oh, hang on, blackstone. Now it's uh, <laughs> three times the blindness. Ah, that kind of moonshine. Gotcha. All right, go for it. <laughs>
I know, the higher pitch to guess the more ominous it sounds. I was, I was like, why is it getting higher? I don't like it. <laughs> All right. There's a smidge too close, close to that one. On that one. Yeah. Oh no, however will I recharge my, my armor? <laughs> really? Not, I, not even... Uh... Quartz on the right. Okay. There. Go get that. But I mean, like, like, how am I getting less than I was getting before? Yeah, I got two a second ago. I mean, not with the tunnel bore, I got it. Yeah. Getting quartz. Well, and I got, I got the one earlier too, so... I mean, I, I guess that puts us at the same... Same as what I got on the last adventure, only this time with 100% less gassed. <laughs> Say 100% less gas, just there, there's 100% there, 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 less yeah. gas down this tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're over there, we're over here, everything's good. Did you get all that quartz? Yep. Sometimes I really wonder, just like, is it right behind the wall? Or is it right I know. The oh, hang on. I mean, oh. Er Okay, good. Oop. Oh, I gotta remember I don't have uh, my elytra on, so I can't go gliding over stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to glide over a chasm and glide like a like a drunken hippopotamus. Drunken <laughs> hippopotamus. Of course, the other thing is every time I go do stuff like this and, and go digging for uh, for like golden quartz and stuff, I, I catch the end of the tunnel bore out of the corner of my eye. And since that has netherite on the end of it, I keep going like, oh, good. Oh, wait, no, that's the that's the netherite I brought. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually thought that earlier once. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. About that, about that lack of glide. <laughs> yeah. There we go. What's the glide speed of a Minecraft character with a chest plate? <laughs> to European. Yeah, I guess I don't need rockets on my hotbar anymore. Oh! Oh! That is uncalled for, baby. Since you're stuck here with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'll gladly take those four, uh, pearl, or, uh, things from you. Oh yeah, that's right, because you keep doing the, the looting. I, I try not yeah. to get that close. <laughs> I'm up to six, uh, six thingamajiggers. Thinking about jiggers. Mm, tears. No, they spawned way over there, right? 
Uh, I, I wasn't sure where he spawned, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to throw in a little extra, you know. Is that clear? Oh, getting there. You got to admit, this is a lot safer than using beds. <laughs> well, I'm taking a lot less damage. Uh, I don't have to wear blast protection, so I'm able to wear my, oh, you know, quartz. lava protection. Uh, not just that, but uh, we we also don't have to. Bloody! Oh, oh. click down the wrong button. Okay. Uh, is it control Q. Yeah. Uh, is it? That was on purpose. I went to go chase him while you were fixing the port situation over there. Oh, he didn't drop it. <laughs> Bad. That murder hoboing for nothing. <laughs> oh, nope, there it is. I see it. What? The tears? Yep, I got a tear. The tears for fears. Oh wait, no. Lava. again. <laughs> like, like, come on. <sighs> Almost wish there was a way to, like, block certain items out of your inventory. Hello, friend. Yeah. Where are they? Where, where is he forming? Right here. Right here. Right next to where your shoulders are. Oh. Right here. All right. Here. Both times. Right in here. Hang on. with him because he shot two of them at me right next to the machine. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Damn. 
Alright, we'll see how that goes. Got one stream open and some ports. much blackstone as we did the other way. Oh, <laughs> I can't float over there. I thought we all float down here. Wrong franchise. Oop. Quartz. And some lava. Okay, more than some lava. Or just an art for a lava fountain? Uh, just a lava fountain. Looks like it's coming from yonder. From yonder? From yonder? Also half expect to turn around to go back and find out that we missed like one in the roof or something. Well, yeah. Keep wondering that one myself. from the lack of places to put blocks. Ow! Ow. <sighs> yeah, that might be another, uh, another lava pool. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to! <laughs> Just Uh, ooh, there's one <laughs> as well as a lava lake oh no not one but two wait we got a third one nearby no let's say search a search perimeter Uh, that's in a blackstone pocket. That may not be a. You don't think so? 
Because uh, there, there's a whole lot of not wall behind there. Start singing the chorus to Bottoms Up. It's, uh, I'm in here. Okay, no, this is a uh, this is a massive lake. <laughs> oh, like, massive, like when you massive. say massive, do you mean like? I can't see the edges of it once you go in there. Uh oh, it's that massive. Oh, oh, oh! I can't glide. <laughs> So this is a uh, tear this down and uh, un momento. try try again a couple of, a couple of chunks later. Uh, don't get that thing stuck in the lava. <laughs> I don't know. That's looking, uh... I hear gas, so I wonder, I wonder if we're under one of the... One of the lakes up there. Uh, we're six deep? Six blocks. The The entrance way here that we're mm -hmm. at is six blocks down from, like the top of it is six blocks down from the uh, top of the, the ocean. Oh. The lava ocean. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a dead end. Duck on it. Liquid physics. this better or worse I don't know and I feel like if you have to ask that question the answer might not be the one you're looking for Irreplaceable part first. Want <laughs> <laughs> to go silk touch that uh, that stupid dead coral fan before I forget again? Oh no 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 no! Shoot! <sighs> you wouldn't happen to have another TNT on you? What? No, I, I got one in my under chest. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, 
That's not something I just carry around willy nilly oh. anymore. I get in trouble. For that. <laughs> I was getting ready to say before you added the Eddie Moore, I was gonna go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with Arcadius? <laughs> yeah, I get in trouble for stuff like that. So even if I did have some on me, I'm not about to say anything about it on live uh, broadcast. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that uh, I may or may not have. I am not incriminating myself on live mm. broadcast, sir. Mm. That's uh, not the right to an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always send the uh, tunnel board oh. north or west if we're staying on the same axis. Well, we could also go a couple of chunks down, too. True. Uh, you're not going to want to go east at all. I mean, no? That ocean looked like it was pretty vast. Oh. I dare say that's probably the same ocean that we linked up to in the south. Okay. Well, you want to turn this and uh, and then just head west down the same, same way we've been going? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's turn, <laughs> let's turn this boat around. Wagons West. <laughs> you have died of dysentery. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always dysentery. <laughs> oh, there, there's a classic game that hasn't been touched in a while. Oregon Trail. Everybody knows the memes, but how many people actually played it? Well, yeah, because you shouldn't touch it. You didn't wash your hands. That's why you died of dysentery. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there, there's some of the. Oh no, I need those three ancient debris. Uh, I've got. I've been putting some of the ancient debris in here along with the gas tier that I got earlier. Okay. First, golden quartz. I will not walk away empty handed. <laughs> That's good because we're not. We've got plenty of stuff we've gotten so far. To find plenty. Well, I think we've got enough for what, two pieces of gear so far? Oh, uh, we got, what, three in there? Uh, plus the two I'm holding? Uh, oh, plus the three I got last time. So there, there's six in the box plus the two in there. So, yeah. I mean, it's not nothing, but... I mean, it's no beacon, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, well, look. Get out of here with that. It's no beacon. I ain't doing that again. <laughs> what? Build, trying to build a beacon out of uh, netherite? I don't know why you did it in the first place. <laughs> I did do it. But two seasons ago. I ain't doing it again. I, I, I returned to my original. I don't know why you did it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> to say I could. <laughs> okay. You reach into my ender chest and get my toolbox. <laughs> yes, I'll do that for you. Just a moment. Give me a second. Let me, let me get right on that for you. Yeah, I got about 90 TNT in here just in case. I mean, who doesn't keep 90 TNT in their toolbox? Um, what? People that don't want to get stopped by the TSA. Don't don't you um me? Besides, if we're go if we're going by those rules, then how did Ali Spagnola bring a suitcase full of powdered sugar to Austin and get through TSA? 
Well, I mean, it's Ellie's pain. Probably just offered him some. Uh, no, I like the TSA agent said, what do you have in your bag? And she goes, powdered sugar. And he goes, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> kind of a crazy white lady. I mean, <laughs> uh, don't so the answer get you care. Uh, hey, careful where you're going. Uh, <laughs> using the uh the the bricks better it's easier to see where you're at all right i need a regular piston my last observer because the regular piston goes here the observer goes there a block Sticky piston, slime block, a regular piston, and this time, just to see if it works, let's uh, let's try putting the block of redstone on the underside hmm. nope that doesn't work okay oh good to know For uh, Wagons West. <clears throat> yep. I'm the cook. <laughs> Getting a lot faster at building this thing. That's for sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> let, let, let me move. <laughs> uh, get to dancing, Twinkle Toes. We got stuff to do. Lava, right? Yeah. No, oh, that was uh, soul sand. I was like, no, no, I see something down there. Not anything useful. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Soul sand is kind of useful. So is gravel. Once Reyes decides that she wants to start building with concrete. Well, do you want to go ahead and grab it? It's right there. Yeah, we'll get it as it blows up. <laughs> Plane? Yep. <sighs> Watch, Reyes is gonna get on, get over here, and all of a sudden we're gonna find like a dozen ancient debris. Is that why you're letting me hit the button? Are you hoping that my dice are better than yours? Maybe. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know they're not, right? 
<laughs> I, I, I'm noticing that right now they're not. They're, they're not. They, they just oh, skelly behind you. Oh. Uh, he didn't want to play with us anyway. I'd like to know where he came from. Oh, hi, friend. Oh, because somebody keeps digging tunnels without lighting them up. Mm. Yeah, well, you know. I get bored waiting for you. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Not as much as the gas star. <sighs> Don't, let's not. Uh. <laughs> oh, you didn't see the quartz? I can't fly. I can't fly. I don't have my wings on. I <laughs> now, now I know why Green was all like, you know why I don't put a chest plate on while mining? Because I always think I have my wings on. <laughs> like, people were giving him flack about his hardcore survival series and why he didn't wear a chest plate while mining in there. And he goes, you know why? Because I always think I have my wings on and I'm going to fall to my death. Not even thinking about the fact that I got a chest plate. Like, I, I, yeah, I can see that. All right, let her rip. Uh, I see some debris in the roof. Yep, I see a cinnamon roll. Mm, I cinnamon see two roll. cinnamon rolls. Two? No, I'm just... Uh, don't get my hopes up like that. Thinking. Well, actually, I thought that soul sand in the corner over there. I couldn't oh. see a corner of it. I thought that was one. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Just the one. Just the one. Oh! Hang on, hang on. I, I got some inventory to put in the place of the next TNT. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Double tap like I'm gonna float up there. Oh, sorry, a little too close to that one. <laughs> well, ancient debris, left side. On the left side? Left Ooh, side. Nice. Alright, that, that's a little more like it. that I hear and why does it make me so nervous it's to the left oh okay oh. as long as he's behind the privacy fence that, that's <laughs> oh. yeah. <laughs> well you you play in your tunnel and we'll play in ours <laughs> Was around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Let's 
so much netherrack. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound good. Eh, it's okay. Found just some quartz up in this hole up here. Oh, nice. I found me stacks and stacks and stacks of nether racks. And an ancient debris. Look at there. Ooh, nice. Just off the beaten path. <laughs> well, I went to grab that. Uh, what you quartz. Call, uh, I was waiting for you. No, yeah, the gravel, which led to the mm -hmm. quartz, which led to the ancient debris. <laughs> <laughs> This is sounding like a conversation with Ray Est, where, where you go through this weird, wild spaghetti... Okay, I got lucky on that one. <laughs> no, you didn't. I knew you were out of the way. You were off to uh, the right there. Uh, yeah. Sure, of course you do that. <laughs> I did. I was looking right at you. Quartz on the bottom, gold on the bottom, both on the Ooh. right. Say that and you just like disappear like mm, piece of candy. Oh, I can't wait to see how much quartz we have once uh once we get a fortune pick on all this. <laughs> We're finding something. Some nether quartz too. Is it just one? Oh no, two. There we go. Can we get a third? Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little toasty behind that last bit of the ancient debris.
<laughs> that had to be the saddest piece of lava. Why? <laughs> <laughs> a little lava fountain. Uh, I'm over here getting oh. the, uh, the gravel, and there was a little lava pocket in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. So as I'm mining it, the gravel... Oh, the, <laughs> the gravel puts it out. <laughs> yeah, the gravel just falls and gets rid of it. <laughs> oh, that's great. The poor little lava pocket. Well, this has at least been a little more fruitful than uh, previous tunnels. <laughs> oh, many hands make light work. Been saying all season. What are you talking about? TNT makes light work. <laughs> You'd still be cleaning up and moving stuff and fighting gas if I weren't here. Why don't you start that? <laughs> <laughs> that was a little too close on that one. Hang on. Quartz and maybe something behind one of these? soul sand. Okay. I saw the brown out of the like, ooh, maybe? No. No. Uh, seriously, my inventory. Where's Beach Duck? I don't know. Two sharks in. Oops. Tired. Hang on. Oh yeah. Some oh, quartz off to the side. Maybe something behind the quartz. Give him a surprise after after chasing down quartz. No, it gives me a surprise after chasing down a ton of gravel, then chasing down quartz. Okay, that's fair. All right, because I wasn't actually there for the quartz. I <laughs> just got it for you. So the game was like, oh, okay. Well, since you didn't actually want this, we'll we'll still be nice to you. Here's that gas the next tunnel over, and it makes me panic every time. Well, go kill it if you want to. He ain't coming over here. Oh, oh, we we will harvest his tears later. Um, we have a lava flow. Right? Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. Hang on. Yeah, I think we're up to ten or something right now. Yeah, I got four on me. There's six in the box. Uh, there's 10 in the box. I just added mine to it a minute ago. Maybe it's higher than 10. I don't know. Well, I was hoping to find an ancient debris at the end of this uh, gravel patch, but I'll take I'll take the gold. Oh no, gold is a consolation prize for shame. Yeah, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And there's some gold up in the corner there too. I was hoping there'd be a little ancient debris hiding behind that gold for, you know. <laughs> because. <laughs> well, sometimes. I know. Not this time. Not this time. Patch the lava or build up the walkway so it goes a little for No, I'll patch the lava. Just uh, get us a little more walkway. Oh, inventory space. I had the most random thought. Wouldn't it be nice if they allowed us to make netherite shulkers? So that way your shulker didn't burn up in lava when you died, too. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Alright, and then I'll grab the quartz after this one. us lit up too so uh, skellies don't come up and say hello. <laughs> now I'm hungry again. Why well, you gotta keep talking about cinnamon rolls? <laughs> That's what they look like. I know, I know. This is one of those things that, like, I wasn't hungry, but now that you start, you know, singing about cinnamon rolls, I'm like, you know, I could go for a good cinnamon roll right about now. I don't even like cinnamon, but I'd go for a nice cinnamon roll. Nice. That's just blasphemous talk you're saying. Cinnamon rolls are awesome. Oh, cinnamon rolls are awesome. I just don't like cinnamon in general. And then we get some quartz coming. Yeah, I see it.
Ah, I was hoping. Yeah? Yeah? No. Hope springs eternal. Nothing? Nothing. Oop, there we go. Again. One there. Think positive. More than one. Maybe. Give me more than one. Oh, nope, 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 nope. See? See? <laughs> greed. That's what greed gets you. <laughs> well, look, I'm gonna go make my pile of gold and then build a a a uh wool dragon on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have enough. What wool or gold? Gold. Uh, what 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 is this enough gold of which you speak? Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were on your way out already. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I thought you were already leaving. <laughs> I went to clear some of the netherrack out of my inventory. <laughs> I was trying to drop it in the lava while it was there to get rid of. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, is that? That's what I was Gold in the wall up there. Yeah, I just, uh, oh, no, that's just the shade, the way the shadow fell. I'm like... Uh, the nice thing about working in the Soul Sand Valley like we are, you don't have to worry about uh, as many mobs. Zombie piglins don't spawn in Soul Sand Valleys. Um, and... Again? Dude. Where's your construction hat? <laughs> well, I had to take off the OSHA footwear for uh, the, the piglin diplomacy. <laughs> take, take it up with your uh, union. <laughs> union. Gold towards the right bottom. <laughs> Still faster than mining with a pick. Well, I don't know about faster, but uh, definitely saves on durability. Yeah. Well, faster in the fact that you don't have to run back and forth preparing. And yeah. You're not going through as much food. I mean, here having to... I mean, it's got benefits. Unless the operator isn't paying attention, then, you know. What? You can't blow it up. No, but you can blow me up. <laughs> there's a chunk of gold. Oh, there's an H debris we missed. I hadn't got that far yet. I can't see beyond that little rock over there. All right, so we, we haven't missed it. <laughs> uh huh. The machine's not past it. Okay, so so that's the rule we're going by. It's not officially missed until the machine goes past it. Well, yeah, I would have seen it in like another bomb or two because we would have been next to it, and I'm looking dead at it. <laughs> I'm trying to glide jump across without my wings again, again, again. Well, put your wings on, just don't get into lava. Lava bottom. Sorry, I was trying to get uh, some slabs and lights. I mean, uh, it's it's the roof I always oh get 
get paranoid about because it's like, is there any up there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> More soul sand for the uh, soul sand campfires and blue um, blue lanterns. I, I suspect more than a few people will be trying to decorate in those before too long. Because I know Reyes loves using them. I think Medic does too. I mean, I gotta admit, they they are they are nice. And now that the the mob spawning rules have changed, hang on after this one. Now that the mob spawning rules have changed, um, th there's some quartz in the ceiling there if you can get it. I was going for the the uh, this massive thing of gravel here. Uh, now now that the mob spawning rules have changed, and it's a late level of one. Instead of seven, the blue lanterns, the soul lanterns, are actually, you know, useful now. Yeah. Because that, that, that was my big beef with them before. was like, yeah, it's a cool, low-light, you know, designy kind of deal. But with mob spawning being what it is, uh, you know. Well, it's the same thing with sea pickles or even candles for that matter. It's well, like, but but sea pickles still that? provided a, a light level of 15 at the start. If you used if you used all four. all four, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Same thing with candles. If you use all four, what what if your design or your aesthetic doesn't require you to even need that many? It's like yeah. you're forcing my aesthetic to bend to your mechanics, and I don't think that that's the way that should have to go. Yeah, I need to have lights to keep the stuff from spawning, but I don't think I have to have... I still go back to the idea that it'd be kind of nice to uh, to not have to worry about having lights. And instead, you know, have like a beacon effect or something. Um, I keep I keep hoping that they'll eventually get the, the light sources added in. Because that was something that they were working on in a couple of snapshots where it was just a, a placeable light source. Um, not a not a candle, not a not a torch, not a just a Do you think that was the uh, what came up with the forerunning idea of the, uh, the glow ink and all the stuff that it does? Um ancient debris to the top oop. left. Top oh top left. There we go. And some quartz too. Cinnamon roll. Um, I don't know about that, but I also know that while it's, I, I think it's in the game and something you can unlock with a data pack if you can just get a crafting recipe in there. But I, I want to say that there was some weird weird problems with trying to figure out how to find it to pick it up again and that kind of stuff uh, what am I? there we go space the final frontier these are the voyages of the these are the voyages of my inventory <laughs> Actually, I think I might need to run back for the uh, shulker box to go put some stuff away. dump some of this quartz and whatnot in the in the shulker box including the ancient debris that's on me I, I'd rather that not get lost to an unfortunate accident uh, it'll uh, it'll float yay there's 15 ancient debris in there now I've got one on me so that makes it 16 so that's four ingots nice 
Mm-hmm. My payment was only one ingot, so the rest of it's yours. <laughs> Payment was only one ingot. Hey, hey, I'm house thrash. Don't tell me. Uh, oh no, no, it, it was more like what, like, like some of this <laughs> wasn't gonna go into the community storage anyway. Oh, I don't. Know. I, I mostly sure. wanted to get my main pants and helmet, you know, <laughs> set up and maybe a sword or a, you know, start working on the picks. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind. You know, I hate I hate doing this, but uh. I wouldn't mind setting up a couple of lodestones so we can finally have some waypoints for uh, getting back home. Yeah, well, at least one. Put it somewhere. Well, I was going to say at least two. Um, have one in the nether central area where the main portal is and have one um, in the overworld where the, either the mountain or the castle is. Yeah, I don't think we need two in the overworld. Everything's too compact yeah. at the moment. <clears throat> um, I, um, that's a that's a lot of stuff. I don't think we need the flame. The, and the one torch seems a little redundant. Uh, toss me the torch. There you go. Craft this flint back down. I was going to say, uh, or keep the flint and get rid of some of this nether rack. Because I don't know that we need that much nether rack. I'll go toss it in front of the next explosion. Bowsers. <laughs> <laughs> you said you needed quartz, man. There you go. Uh, yeah. Yep. Well, well, we are up to 10 tiers right now, so. Uh, I am going to need more quartz, and I'm pretty sure that the way Medic's building out the uh, storage, he's going to need quartz for comparators in a bad way, if he doesn't already. Because those are the two main redstone components that require quartz and not, you know, the, the quartz block kind of deal. Uh, we had a ton of quartz in storage, so if we're down, he's probably already made all his comparators. Uh, he's made a bunch of comparators. That is not the same as making all the comparators you need. <laughs> well, you know. Just saying, we had almost a chest worth in the double chest that's in uh, storage. And of I, last I looked, it was down to a row. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know I dipped into that a smidge. I'm sure Medic has dipped into that more than a smidge. Because you got to remember, for every one of those storage containers, he's got a comparator, which takes a piece of quartz. Gold. Lava to the right. And gold to the left. What? I think we need to clear out that blackstone. I think that blackstone's uh, blast resistance is a lot higher. Than the yeah, the, bla the blackstone blast resistance is higher. Which is why, uh, I forget which video it was, somebody was recommending that uh, you go to Soul Sand Valleys precisely for the lack of blackstone. Like, the, the nether waste biome is the worst place you can go to try to get ancient debris because trying to get through the basalt and everything. Between the basalt and the blackstone, you, you just... Whacking your head against the wall. Yeah. But even even with the way that Doc was doing his mining, uh, <laughs> you know, you run into the same problem once you get into these areas with large blackstone pack patches. Although, <laughs> I, I'm not ready to go doing what he was doing. Did did you see that video? He he went mining for ancient debris by using ghasts. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, he, he <laughs> trapped a bunch of ghasts, and, and it's set up to to catch their fireball above the player head, so you can just start, you know, dropping them wherever you want. Mm -mm. Nope, thanks. No? No. Mm -mm. You, you don't want to play with ghast fireballs? No, that's... that's uh... That's flirting with a level of uh, disaster that I don't feel like uh, flirting with. <laughs> you, you don't feel comfortable with that level of destruction? Mm -mm, 
you, you're not gonna cackle madly and go, I have the power. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Quartz. That's a lot of quartz. Yeah, that is. So why are we not blowing up anything down? Hmm? What do you mean? Look at the blast pattern. <gasps> Nothing down is being blown up at the moment. Uh, get, give it another round. <laughs> give it another round. <laughs> I've had D and D on the brain. Somebody uh, posted uh, dungeon master guidelines for running the Red Hand of Doom. Like, uh, oh. Hey, there's an ancient debris. Hey. Oh, just one though. Just one. Oh, come on, you, you know we're all gonna need a bunch. You know, get all our gear squared away. I honestly don't care if my armor ever gets it. As long as my pick and my sword get it, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I definitely... And the one thing I do want to see... Mm -hmm. I would love to see what a... Uh, what a turtle helmet would look oh, like. Oh, a netherite turtle helmet. <laughs> I bet that would look sick. Uh, I gotta tell you, I gotta make sure I put some netherite on that hoe. That <laughs> Debris to the right. <laughs> I've gotten the achievement once, I'm not wasting another. Uh... <laughs> There's <laughs> two ancient like debris there. I've gotten Happy. the achievement every season, because I can't help myself. Well, we all know you can't help yourself. Oh, hush. <laughs> <laughs> you opened the door for that one. I'm actually surprised none of us have been using much of the Blackstone, given how much we used in Season 1. Although it seems like, you know, Deep Slate's all the rage anyway. Uh, I can't say too much. I've been using a bunch of that stuff, too. Although I've been working a little bit of Blackstone into my builds. I don't know. It's not bad. I haven't really done much building so I haven't really needed to yeah I was gonna say I don't need I don't know that we yet. need to go that much lower than this unless you want the blackstone well I've been holding it got okay gravel patch mm -hmm. follow it <laughs> I was getting the quartz first Too much isco. I've been started doing his. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Nope. Get back to it. All right, just double checking. Looking around.
What are you digging out? I just don't like that this didn't come up with the tunnel board. Where it did pretty much the entire tunnel all the way back. So. Oh. Is there a blast protecting reason why it didn't come up? <laughs> no. Just checking, you know. Mm hmm. No, it's probably another one of those, uh, because wasn't there a blackstone patch there? And we didn't clear it out as, we, as quickly? Uh, not directly under it, no. Yeah. Yeah. straight into the wall. Yeah, hmm. uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the one of these picks will be uh, one of the first ones that uh, gets the gets the netherite treatment. Mm -hmm. There's a gravel patch down there if you want to dig through that real quick. Hi, Jeppo. I know. It's it's almost time. No, actually, it is time for you to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> Flop to the left. Jeppo, did you know that you're internet famous? Everybody on Andrew Heaton's uh, Heaton's Heathens loves you. Of course, one of the moderators there has a uh, has a black lab puppy. Aww. His name is Coffee. <laughs> uh, he should get chocolate lab for that. Then they're the right color. Nah, no, he's the right color for Coffee. <coughs> oh, really? Yeah. This coffee's not actually black. It's like brownish bean water. Don't make me hurt Don't you. Don't be wrong. I like my coffee, but it's true. <laughs> it's not actually black. <laughs> yeah, apparently, coffee loves playing with tennis balls. Like, every time they go past the playground, he has trouble directing said puppy because he sees kids out there playing tennis, and, you know, every tennis ball is a tennis ball for him to play with. Oh. That doesn't sound familiar, does it? So I told them about the time Jubba tried to bury three regulation-sized soccer balls in the backyard. No, he didn't try. He did. <laughs> no, he didn't so. get it covered up. No, okay. Well, he tried. R r remember, the, the crime isn't... It isn't the crime, it's the cover-up they got you caught. Totally didn't want us looking over there either. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. You don't need to check that side of the earth. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. There's nothing going on over there. Why would you think there's something going on over there? 
gold in the wall, Ooh. quartz above your head. Oh. Lots of quartz wood. Yeah. Yeah, this will survive at least uh, two more redstone projects. Because <laughs> I'm just building the small farms over at my mountain base. Just wait until I build the proper server farms. <laughs> the proper server farms and we're already, like, okay on resources? What, what, what is this okay on resources of which you speak? Don't make me activate this while you're over there. <laughs> We could definitely use more of a lot of different resources. Like, I, I, I still don't have a full stack of uh, golden apples in my uh, backpack. That's because you haven't gone to make them. We have them. We have the resources to make them gold and sealing. Well, we definitely have the gold now, that's for sure. Somewhere. Sorry, I'm just trying to extend your walkway and ran into where we cleared out a gravel patch. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and there's gold in the ceiling, and I, for a second I almost went, oh, and ancient debris. No, that's on the tunnel board. <laughs> I see the trippy trippy. That's as far as I dig. <laughs> yeah, I think we're actually traveling under a uh an air ow <laughs> Dug on it. This place looks like a blasted wasteland. Oh wait. <laughs> it is one. I just don't want to think about how much Resources we'd be burning if we actually had to use real TNT. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Uh uh. <laughs> I, I ain't doing it. Like, like I, I, did, I did my season of trying to, trying to play without duplication, and, and I know what I'm willing to tolerate and what I'm not. <laughs> like, I have some lines of where I'll go and where I won't go. Uh, this. I would not be building this uh, without uh, without that TNT duper. Uh, mm -mm. Not a mobile TNT platform. Uh, the tree farm I was willing to do. Hang on, we got lava and a blackstone patch. Hmm, and some quartz. Oh boy. We lost uh, an on for a half hour. Ooh, ooh, cinnamon mm. roll. Nice. Two cinnamon rolls. You want to check under that gravel patch that I just found, or, uh... Nope, just two cent models. Since you're, since you're usually the one looking to, uh, to chase after those. But with good reason, don't, don't hear what I'm not saying, like... Well, I mean, I just... I, I know that the concrete rush is coming, <laughs> and oh, 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 look out, look out, look out! Oh, oh look, I got it, look, look. I got it. <laughs> Nope, I'm not getting the rest of that quartz. <laughs> I 
We, anyway, like I was saying, I, I yeah. know the uh, I know the uh, concrete rush is coming soon. So. Yeah. Uh, well, and I also know that with the terrain generation, there's often value in following various veins of stuff like that. Anyway. Uh, like, apparently a lot of the iron veins are around veins of tuft. So there's value in following veins of tuft. And there's some other stuff that, that's related to the generation. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go back and, uh, it was, uh, it was in a massive information dump of, uh, I, I don't mean that in the pejorative way that that sounds. But a massive bunch of information in that Raise Works video that I watched. But my main focus was trying to get that tunnel bore set up and figuring out where, what levels to set up at. And theoretically, mathematically, the level that this tunnel bore is on should be the, the, uh, the, the, the best place to go looking for ancient debris. Well, I mean, we are sitting at what? Uh, I got another three on me right now. We got, what, 15 in the box back there? More than that? 16 in the box. You have three on you. I have two on me, so 21. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but we don't have, like, a, a beacon base or anything like that. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Do you not come <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much of your tree farm wood and the wool out of our <laughs> farm I went through? <laughs> uh huh. Oh, yeah. Nope, hang on. We got one. I don't know. I see okay. It. We got two. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We get a third one over here. Uh, yeah, yes, we oh, do. We do. Ah. Oh yeah. Uh, careful, I, I see something dripping around here. Yeah, we we got some drips everywhere. <laughs> yep. yep, right there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> If you got stuff to clear out your inventory, now's the time to drop it. <laughs> I've only got the one stack of netherrack on me for when I need to pillar and stuff. I do have almost an entire row of blackstone on me I need to take back. I don't know. We might want to put some I of that blackstone up a... here anyway. Start putting some of the blackstone under where it's dripping. Oh! Oh. Or fall off the pillar. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to use that blackstone. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure we're all going to end up using more blackstone as we go. Just it. Okay. I thought that was going to land on the... <laughs> yeah, that would be a bad day. I mean, all we have to really worry about is it, like, burning the... Coral, right? Yeah. Or, or igniting the TNT. Can lava ignite TNT? I don't know. Y you wanna you wanna find out? I'll break it before I find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. I will pop that TNT out of there faster than you can <laughs> it's a jig. All right. Uh, oh. Ah! <laughs> what? I fell in the hole. Oh, that's not good. Nope. That's a curtain of lava. Nope. Don't fix that.
Let's see if that doesn't help us. Nope. Except for the part where, you know, we got more going further down. point where oh. I need to run back and empty inventory anyway. My pockets are getting over stuff with stuff that I can't toss. Gold at your feet. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. No, no. no. I, I was going to grab that before I went. Like, why, why would I run all the way back only to go? Uh, It's almost nine o'clock. <laughs> well, two failed tunnel bores and one pretty good one. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, I don't think we're tapped out on that one either. So that, that's definitely one to keep going. The nether the, debris. The <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. We got a total of twenty-four. I took four out of there. Nice. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there, but uh, I'll put those boxes right there, right where it's nice and safe. I'll uh, grab my tunnel bore box and put my other two fire resistance potions in there, so that way I'll actually have those handy when I need them. Keep uh, dumping those. And let me go grab my wings out of the armory. Let me not do the boots until I get out to the... <laughs> until I get back out to the, uh, to the, the main tunnel area. I was going to stop and do the outro there, but that doesn't seem like a safe place to do an outro. Yeah, I, I think I might come back through and uh, put soul sand underneath this entire walkway. <laughs> That's a lot of soul sand. Maybe just down the middle would be enough. Or down one side or the other. Yeah. Because that would still make this a whole lot quicker to navigate. Although that does eat away at your durability, doesn't it? It does. You say that like there's a butt after that as well. I was also thinking if you don't use soul soil, 
and you use soul sand, if these are half slabs, mm -hmm. you'll be slowed down trying to walk over it. If you don't have soul uh, speed on your boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to uh, change your uh, respawn point. <laughs> Lest you end up back there. Hey, Axonem, how you doing? Timing, man. We uh, we just finished up uh, another mining session. Got, what, 20 ancient debris? Uh, 24 total. 24 total. That's right, because you took enough to make an ingot for yourself. I took four, yep. Yeah. Matter of fact, let me, because uh, you said we got some gold up here, right? And we have seven ancient debris in uh, storage. Okay. Don't don't get mad at me. You oh. You never know. Yeah, we do have a fair amount of that, don't we? Uh, let's uh, pack that down a little bit to make it easier to transport. I'm actually kind of surprised that you're not rocking the solid gold beacon this go round. I have a solid gold beacon. Oh yeah, that's right, you do. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> oh good, you're not mad at me. All right, you. Well, I'll, I'll get to your project soon. Don't don't you worry. I still got plans for you. <laughs> Get, uh, let me get somewhere safe because we, we've been at this uh, about two and a half hours now and I still got work tomorrow. I still got to get the replay uploading. Uh, although, real quick before I forget. Because I think it's been a while since you've been able to catch us. I've made some improvements to the, uh, to the mountain base. <laughs> Take off my Frostwalker boots before I mess up something like the fountain. <laughs> Hello. I even have staff. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. Those guys keep hiding in the corners for some reason. How are you doing? That might be Friday's project, working on those guys. And upstairs is more potions. Alright, let me, uh, because I'm going to go run all this ancient debris through. Oh, yeah, um, I don't know if it works the same way in Bedrock. Um, but in Java, because these guys, they're, they're, they're hitbox is exactly two full blocks high by putting carpet in this doorway the carpet moves them up just enough that they can't fit through the doorway i suspect that will be the same way on bedrock so you could actually get uh you get your doorway short enough that they can't like see his forehead get stuck on there and if you put carpet on a block and then carpet above that carpet the AI sees that as an empty space and so it won't try to pathfind over it which will cut down on server lag with these guys trying to path over stuff that they can't walk through so I've been able to keep these guys in here by doing the double carpet trick and keeping the door just a, a what pixel too short for them to fit through um, I learned the hard way that I needed to double carpet over here as well. I didn't think I'd need to because that is technically a block that they're not going to try to path to. But somebody apparently stepped on the switch and then walked onto the soul sand and then drowned in the tower. Uh, so, yeah, I, I had to restaff the uh, the clerical offices. I needed more clerical help. <laughs> 
And I got this room back here that that I still haven't started filling yet. Uh, I'm gonna put some storage in the walls. Uh, the this is a system that I was looking at doing, but I'm having a little trouble getting it to work right because items keep getting stuck in here. This is not pulsing enough times to get everything all the way through. So uh, I don't know. I'll either keep fiddling with it or uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll either keep fiddling with it or uh, or do a different setup. I also got tired of running villagers from the mountain, uh, from the castle over here. So I set up a little spot over here with uh, a bunch of guys at the ready. Then various other randomness down here. That cactus farm is going to get expanded and put upstairs. These guys, I like this farm design for carrots and potatoes, but I do not like it for wheat and beetroot because the these guys they they don't they just don't produce that much. But these guys, these guys are working hard. Like I've already filled up the barrel next to it, on top of what's there. So I might do a few more like this and swap these guys out for. Um, some bee-powered farms, where the bee beehives on one side and the flowers on the other, and that way, when they go pollinate, they'll help uh, the crops grow quicker. I also need to dig myself a safe tunnel over to uh, the the <laughs> the mountain storage area because uh, I keep getting jacked by skeletons. Yeah, yeah. Tango's the one, you know, I, I've seen Tango and a few others, but Tango was the one that reminded me of it when I watched his. That design was something I saw off of one of Doc's videos. Like, he, he kind of mentioned it in passing, and so I tried to reverse engineer it based off of what he talked about. And, cause, of course, Doc's using it just for carrots. And uh, I wanted to see if it worked for all four crops, and it works for two-ish like, I mean, it technically works for the other ones, but, uh, not that well. Alright, let me get... I'm gonna fortune all that. Uh, let's... Get those going. Get those cooking. And nothing else in there cooks. All right, and my fun little carpet powered uh, <laughs> smelter array. All right, while that's going off, this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, I hate that you came in right at the end, Axonim. Uh, would have had a would have had a fun time chatting. What I am gonna do though is we're gonna give Beast Lord J a raid. He's playing Knights of the Old Republic, which uh, if you guys remember, I did on Games Revisited uh, a couple of years ago. And it's a fun game. It's a wonderful game. So if you missed it then, let go watch Beast Lord play it now. It's great. He's also making some different choices than I did. So you get a chance to see some of the different conversation options and whatnot. Um, so glad to see you. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. And uh, stick around for the raid because we're going to go raid Beast Lord as he plays Knights of the Old Republic. A fun game. Go, go, go watch him play. It's great. It's wonderful. Have fun. Stick around for the raid. <laughs>